السلام علیکم پروگرام میں بیسی روڈ میں خوش آمدید ناظرین آج ہمارے مہمان ہیں پاکستان میں اسلامی جمہوریہ ایران کے سفیر جناب مہدی انور دوست ہم ان سے گفتگو کریں گے پاکستان اور ایران کے بہامی تعلقات کے بارے میں اور حالی میں پاکستان کے نیشنل سیکیورٹی ایڈوائزر نے تیران کا بہت اہم دورہ کیا ہے اس حوالے سے ہم ان سے پوچھیں گے اور پاکستان اور ایران کے جو تعلقات ہیں ان کو وسط دینے کے لیے ایران کے سفیر کے پاس کیا نیا آئیڈیا یا کیا ویجن ہے اس پہ بات کریں گے ویسٹر تینکیو بری مچ فر جوائننگ اس ان دس پروگرام اور نیشنل سیکیورٹی ایڈوائزر مسٹر جنجوہ لیفٹین جنرل ناصر جنجوہ ہی وزٹڈ تیران ریسنٹلی اور ہی ہر ٹاکس ویڈ ہائی لیول لیڈرز ان تیران What is the outcome of this visit? How do you look at it? Assalamu alaikum to you and your colleagues. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, as you know, the two big neighboring countries, as long as Iran and Pakistan, they have uh, aligned with the good relation and uh, good interaction in many fields and many sides. Uh, they have common concerns, they have common interests, and uh, with the long borders that between two countries has, and also it requires that the two high authorities of the two countries, sometimes they come together and talk about the mutual interest and the mutual uh, consultations. And so last week uh, we have, uh, we had good visit of our brother General Janjua to Iran by official invitation by his counterpart, uh, General Shamkhani. And so they have very good talking in the good brotherly atmosphere. They uh, talked about many fields, they talked about many subjects. And so uh, I believe because, of, because I was the witness of the all of you were the, there yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah because of the importance of the visit i was there and so in the all of the visit with the two sides and so in the very good atmosphere and bodily atmosphere and the condition and they talked about everything that they would like and so we believe that it the visit was very fruitful and inshallah in the next future we will be witness of the result of that the visit Pakistan, you know, on border situation, you know, sometimes we hear that uh, some mishaps have happened on Pakistan border. Uh, this must have con come under discussion when the uh, security advisor of Pakistan was in Tehran. Uh, do you think there's these problems relating to border disputes and complaints about border management, they have been settled? Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, one of the most important sides that the both side has as a commonality is that uh, the border issues for example anybody knows that what will be happened what and the development in their uh, borders it's not benefit to the two countries if they have smuggling if they have uh, some terrorist activities in the region if uh, they have some settlement of uh, settle down of the settlement of the some or uh, terrorist groups that they are living on the borders and they are located on the borders and sometimes they have some activities against our uh, guardian forces in the border. Uh, as you know, the Pakistan and Iran, the both countries, they are in the transit road and so they have common problem and uh, uh, difficulties regarding to the activity of the smuggling, not in the drugs, but also for the human smuggling and some other act illegal activities. And so according to the situation in the region and locality of the two countries, as I said, big borders and the transit way uh, Every time maybe you have some developments like as this activi illegal activities or something that is more important that the both sides have very good and common views regarding to the cooperation and interaction 
for uh, solve it and so uh, the both sides agreed for the next session of the borders uh, for uh, under the topic of the border issues and uh, in more Islamabad or in Tehran uh, in the, of course in the eastern province of Iran okay. and also in uh, Pakistan okay. in Pakistan in Quetta and so the both side agreed for the next session of that and uh, for talking about all of the matters regarding the borders issues and uh, so it is hopefully uh, is under the uh, discussion. Uh, Ambassador, uh, sometimes you know uh, people infiltrate into Iran to create problems there and sometimes Pakistan alleges that people have entered from Iran's border into Pakistan and they have created problems. So any arrangement has been made or they have agreed to make an arrangement uh, so that these elements who try to create problem here in Pakistan or in Iran uh, should be checked and they should be brought under control. Uh, as I said, it is a topic. It was the topic of the negotiation between two sides and one of the most important problems that nowadays we have regarding to the borders and uh, we are sure the both sides convinced each other that our mutual interest is the co or cooperation regarding this uh, issue but as I said the line border uh, is not so easy for control over the head but uh, and also the Pakistani side has 100% trust the trust to Iranian side and also um, something that we try to have it in the future inshallah that it, uh, it will be under the discussion and agreement between two sides that the both side uh, try to uh, co-chairman of the you know co uh, interaction co chairman of co chair of the the uh, any development in the borders like you know Pakistan and Afghanistan they have agreed uh, for a border management uh, issue uh, they want a, a joint efforts to manage the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan can there be a similar arrangement between Pakistan and Iran as well it is under discussion. It is under discussion, and uh, we are waiting for the next round of talking between two authorities of the two countries regarding to the matter. Another issue is the smuggling. You have mentioned that the smuggling, the issue of smuggling came under discussion when uh, our security advisor was there in Tehran. Uh, smuggling is also hurting the trade, official trade between the two countries. If smuggling is eliminated, I think the trade volume between Pakistan and Iran can go up. Uh, one of the most important commonalities and the common concern between the countries is the smuggling in different ways. As I said, in human smuggling, drug smuggling, fuel smuggling, and goods smuggling. And as you said, yes, uh, the both countries lose a lot of interest regarding to smuggling. Uh, not only they lose their revenue about it, but also if any item from the goods import or export without any look into the hygiene uh, aspect of the matter it's not good and so the both countries has a lot of young peoples uh, and young generations and with these high number of the uh, young Youth. generation of the two countries and the youth uh, the both countries should take care about this uh, heinous uh, phenomenon yes. in the border uh, but as I said these uh, these two countries they are in the road of the transits and uh, they are located they are located in the neighboring uh, to the one of the the first place of cultivation of the drugs it is something that you have no choices for about it. It is your neighbor. But, but Excellency, Iran has uh, punished people who were involved in the past. But Iran has been giving stern punishment to the people who were involved in drug smuggling or drug pushing. Uh, 
this policy is continuing and uh, if Iran is giving heavy punishment to such people, despite that, why it is continuing? Uh, good question. As I said, Iran is a young generation, one of the youngest uh, generation population in the world, and also we are exposed to the danger of the matter. And so uh, the capital punishment in our country is regard for any uh, smuggler that they come out, they are, uh, they are active in this matter. Uh, but because of the benefits of the matter, and the Iran is the road, is in the way yeah, to yeah. the European countries. And so they accept, they accept the risk of this matter. But one of the most important challenges at NAT, uh, from many years ago, we have every day, every day uh, in our borders with smugglers. And in two last year, we lost at least 67 person from our uh, guardians regarding to the uh, In the exchange of fire. Uh, in exchange of the fire with the smugglers. Mm -hmm. You know, we are exposed to the danger. We have very 65 percent from our population is under 35 years old. It means something around 50, next to 50 million from 80 millions of the Iranian population is, is very young. Is here, they yeah. are yeah. so young. So you have to protect the young people, young Iranian, from the menace of drugs. Really, uh, you know, you have no right to choose your neighbors. And so uh, we should, we with the cooperation with our brothers in Pakistan, we should try to stop it. Mr. One issue that keeps coming under discussion, uh, both I think at the official level and in media and other discussion, is the Indo-Iranian uh, cooperation on developing the Chahbar port. Uh, ever since India has uh, agreed or India signed an agreement with Iran to spend money like millions of dollars to uh, upgrade, improve the Chabar port. There are suspicions in Pakistan that this port is being built as a competitor to the Gawadar port because Pakistan is building Gawadar and in contrast to Gawadar, uh, Iran and India is, are both are now interested in developing this port? Uh, in some different occasions, we gave this confidence to our brothers. Mm -hmm. At the first, we never and never prefer any country than to our neighboring countries like as Pakistan. Uh, the first. And the second, after many years that we suffered a lot of pain regarding to the sanctions, the needs to announce to the world that the door of the cooperation with the world is open in Iran. And so it is important for us. But it doesn't mean that the permit to any country comes between Iran and Pakistan. Okay. Uh, and Alhamdulillah, the Pakistani brothers, they know very well. But sometimes, sometimes, uh, some third part that I don't like to mention exactly who is the third part. They're trying to put gap and they're trying to deteriorate the atmosphere, atmosphere, brotherly atmosphere between the countries. And so many times we announced that we are ready to accept, we invite all of the capabilities in Pakistan for coming to Chabar. And it is the first step of mine for having the ceremony of the sisterhood between two um, harbors. And Sister also, harbors. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are trying to have it in the next future and also the second uh, item the Iranian export to Pakistan is electricity. And it is exactly comes to Gwadar. How can we uh, try to have to promote the Iranian electricity export, uh, export to Gwadar? And Gwadar is the rival of Chabahar. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know, now there's, the time is not uh, in the world, uh, is not proper time for talking about some items like this. Our brothers in Pakistan, all of them, they are know very well that we said welcome for any cooperation from A to Z, as like as Badr and Chabahar. And also, we, in the next future, inshallah, the cooperation between two harbors will be more and more. 
It's a good news. Ambassador, we'll take a short break and then we'll come back and talk about these issues more. Nazir, we'll take a short break. After the break, we'll talk about the issues of Pakistan and Iran in Islamic Jumuria Iran. Welcome back. Our issues are going to be a part of Pakistan and Iran. Ambassador, about the Chabar and Gawadar, you have said a lot and you are saying that they are not the two competing ports, but they are actually they have been built to enhance cooperation between Chabar and Gawada. Uh, the other issue that comes is that uh, how to improve the trade relations between Iran and Pakistan. You have said that Iran is ready to export electricity to Gawada and to Balochistan, other parts of Pakistan. But in other areas, the trade volume is very limited and both countries have been trying for a very long period of time to improve this trade. What are the snags? What are the difficulties? Uh, let me be frankly talk about the matter because it is important. Many times we announce that when we are talking about the lovely and brotherly and friendly relation between the country, it should be tangible for the two peoples. Two peoples that they are deserved to the promotion of the uh, relation, especially in the trade and business. And unfortunately, one of the side is that uh, the, the, most, the, the interest of the two uh, peoples uh, impacted by that is that uh, the, some conservativeness by our brothers in Pakistan. For example, very frankly, I should tell you, uh, during the sanction, not here, nowadays, during the sanction, our bilateral trade with the, all of the, our neighboring was many, many times more than the Pakistan. Our bilateral with Afghanistan during the sanction was 2.5 billion. Billion. 2.5 billion during the sanctions. And anybody knows the situation in Afghanistan. But with, uh, with uh, the with trade Pakistan. with Pakistan, uh, regrettable. The second, you know, one big country as like as Iran, having a uh, multi, multi, multi billion bilateral trade with many countries in the world. What will it, what we, what this uh, multi billion dollars bilateral will, uh, will, done, will be done? It means that many countries during the sanctions work. With Who are Iran. trading with Iran? Yeah, hmm. regarding regarding to the frame of the sanctions, but they could find some solution for that because the business is the business. Yes, but anyway, uh, uh, it means that one of the most impediments that we have uh, regarding to the promotion of the trade relation between Iran and Pakistan is the banking transaction system. And fortunately, after the removal of the sanctions. The day by day, uh, the atmosphere is the better than the past. But nowadays, we are waiting for the taking step by our brothers in Pakistan. But this banking operation or banking yes, the problem, transaction, uh, tra transaction, and other things, they have been taken care of. I mean, the, the, the media reports claim that Pakistan government has taken steps uh, to allow the LCs to be opened in Iran for imports. Uh, it is something that the both sides, they are talking about it. For example, as a first step, the both sides uh, try to have the new branches of their banks in the uh, other, uh, in, uh, in other each other countries. Cities. Yeah, in each other countries. Mm -hmm. And so the second, the second, uh, we are trying to, inshallah, for having the euros uh, transactions because the dollar sanction, because the dollar transaction is under maybe under the sanction uh, between, because of the strained relation between Iran and the American. But for the second part, it is possible. And so we have with Trade a lot in of Europe. countries. Yes. Yeah. And not only this, but also two big countries like Iran and Pakistan has a lot of channels and ca uh, for the more uh, trade and business cooperation. Fortunately, Recent announcements we have promoted. We have some persons promoted uh, that is not enough, but that is good 
start. It is a step forward. Yes, a step forward and uh, yes. better than the past. We are not satisfied, but it is better than last year. But Ambassador, what areas, I mean, you have been in Pakistan for some time here. Uh, you, you have studied uh, the areas where the trade relations between Pakistan and Iran can be improved, expanded. So what would you like to suggest to your Iranian uh, counterparts, Iranian friends and Pakistanis to explore those areas? You know, in any field that you can imagine, the both sides can come together and work. For example, from the uh, mega project as like as the Iranian gas, that we are waiting for the Pakistani take a step and only because the Iranian gas is under your border and only uh, it is that you uh, take your hand and open the, uh, the tap and you know the Iranian gas then comes to the country put the economy of our yes. brothers put on the jumping board it is very key and uh, v uh, very important uh, element for the promotion economic of the economic of development. Yes. You know, the, it, the gas is the raw material for yes. many, many branches of industries. Yes. And so it is the first. And the second, and the second, um, in industries, many industries that Iranian has capability that it can work with Pakistan. And also the Pakistan has a lot of capabilities in some branches of industries that we needed. And uh, the church, the both side can work, can come together for the uh, through the uh, chamber of the commerce of the two countries that they feel that uh, has most part of the business bodies of the two countries. Mr. you mentioned the Pak uh, Iran gas pipeline. This project has been signed between the two countries, and people were expecting that it will be operative very soon. But years have passed, and no progress has been made. You have said that uh, Iran has done its part, yeah. but Pakistan is not doing the part that was Pakistan's responsibility. So what do you think, what are the problems? Did they tell you, did they discuss uh, this issue with you? Yes. Uh, up to uh, the end of the sanctions, our brothers in Pakistan, they said that because of the sanctions, nobody comes for the investment in this uh, field, yes. it means uh, putting the pipe for the gas in the Pakistan territory. After the removal of the sanctions, uh, all of them officially announced that we would like to have it. We would like to have it. But anybody knows, nowadays, because of the low prices of the LNG and the energies, some other sources of the energies. I see. It's, you know, you know, our yeah, brothers yeah, yeah. here, they said that uh, maybe nowadays it is better they go through the LNG. But Pakistan is importing LNG from Qatar. From Qatar. Yes. Uh, and uh, also they imported LPG from Iran. Mm. And so, uh, something that I'm 100% sure that it will be done. It will be done because it is a necessary key for the Pakistan yes. and also the Iran is uh, desired and would like to have it. Uh, but you, it is uh, the burden of the matter is the shoulder of our brothers here. I cannot interfere in their efforts and they said, uh, okay, hurry up. Yeah. But I'm sure anybody knows, anybody knows that the pipeline is cheaper, faster. At and a permanent source of energy. Of course. You know, Iranian gas is the second source in the world. Yes. For, for more than 400 years yes. in the future. And so anybody knows that with link to these big sources, everything will be changed. Everything. Well, Master, the sanctions have been lifted, and now Iran is out of the clutches of those sanctions. Uh, but do you think that Pakistan still has some reservation because there are no sanctions? Although the Americans are trying to play games still, but uh, officially the sanctions have been lifted. So there is no obstacle on the way to implement these kind of bilateral projects. As I said, uh, it is some part of the politics. You know, the bankers of Pakistan, they are afraid from the American punishment. You said it is legal, illegal, maybe. 
but it is in the reality. In the reality is this that the shadow, the shadow of this fear is over uh, to the is point. looming large on the minds of Pakistani yeah, yes. bankers. Exactly, exactly. Okay. But, but uh, it is something that we hope, we hope, with the cooperation with the European bankers and the European Union. Because the many times the European Union announced that uh, it is not good behavior and proper approach to the Iranian banks, that they haven't any transaction between two banks. Yes. And we are waiting for the uh, practical step should take by the European Union after the uh, 5 plus 1 reached the agreement for be uh, functional. Master, as the oil prices are going down internationally and our Islamic countries in Middle East have started suffering from the uh, dip in the oil prices. What is the effect of this oil prices going down uh, internationally? What is the effect on Iran's economy? Uh, unfortunately, the global of Islam and uh, they are involved to some disastrous situation that one of them is the coming down of the oil prices. We have a lot of more important issues than the oil prices. One of the most important issues that nowadays we have regarding among the Muslim brothers and the big countries of the Islamic world is disparity between them. You know, from early morning up to night, you receive a lot of bad news regarding mostly from the globe of Islam. Mostly. And anybody knows that somebody, some countries, they are managed this. It's not be done automatically. So what, what, what could be done? I mean, you, have, you are pointing to a reality, but what could be done to overcome these uh, issues? Because the Islamic world is worried. The Very Muslims good are worried. Very good question. And I'm sure that our brothers from top to the end in Pakistan, they understand that what I say. Because I believe, we believe, the Iranian side believe that the Pakistan was the first country to try to solve for the reconciliation of the... Saudi so Arabia and Iran. Yes. yes. It is not benefit to any Muslim in the world. Nobody can claim that any clash and conflict between the big powers in the globe of Islam is benefit to the anybody. And so, as a f first approach and reaction by the Iranian side, when our brothers tried to as a mediation for having the mediation, we said, okay, we said, okay, we never believe that the continuing of this uh, strained relation is yes. good. And uh, so uh, we said welcome, and not only during that time, but also nowadays we said welcome. We said welcome to any initiative for the settle down. And but, solve uh, this you, you mentioned Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif visited uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran, and he tried to bring about some uh, reconciliation between the two important Islamic countries. Uh, his mission has not been able to produce anything positive. Something that is our uh, is in our part, we said welcome. Brothers in Pakistan, they knows very well. Nowadays, we announce officially that we are ready for any trying and cooperation for the more unity between the global Islam. Mm. You know, not only the big powers in the big countries in the Islamic world, they are involved to each other, but also many countries, they are in the war toward, as a war toward countries, and they are in the turmoil. The other side, the, some international bodies, and circles that they should be active for the more integration for the uh, among the Muslim uh, members. Right now, it changes to the new place for the tension. It means that so OIC. It means that the OIC organization. They should play a role. And it is something. It is something that we emphasize and we believe that. It is under the management by some uh, third parts that they are beneficent 
um, regarding to the any disparity and conflict between the Muslims. It is the order by the God Almighty. It is the order by the wisdom that we should set aside excuses, comes together for the soul with the, all of the problem that Muslim words they have. Yes. Many countries with the world they are engaged to the world, to the war. Poor people of the Yemen, Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, many countries. Yes. Yes. We will take another short break and we will continue this discussion. Now, we will take a break from the 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 break Yes, you have expressed your desire to bring, bring about unity among the Islamic countries. Uh, efforts should be made to do it. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Iran is a major Islamic country. Do you think that you are out of the shadows of sanctions or they are still there or you are being pressurized by America and Western powers still and they are not clear about it uh, whether they, are, they have lifted the sanctions in totality or not? Uh, the sanction is divided to the two major parts. One of them regarding to the strained relation between Iran and the United States. One of them is under, was one, uh, under the Five Plus One negotiation and atomic dossier of Iran. The second part right now we solved. Is sold, and we are waiting for the taking step by the European countries for the smooth road for cooperation in the international interaction. We are waiting, and also the Western side, they said it needs to sometimes, but it will be done because the, it is 100% and fully cooperation with the side. What about the first side? Uh, first side, uh, first part of the sanctions is under the strange relation between Iran and Americans and the United States, and so uh, nobody can say that what will happen in the next future. But uh, I'm not so optimistic uh, for the solving this part of the sanctions because uh, the both side stands to its, its positions. Americans. Uh, they never set aside the bully approach to the matters as the arrogant powers in the world and also the Iranian stance on their uh, values suffered a lot of pain regarding to the terrorist attacks uh, ter uh, terrorist activities and some interference in the pr military presence of the powers there but it is definitely clear that the Iran and Pakistan uh, they have common concerns, common interests regarding to Afghanistan. Anybody knows that Iran and Pakistan impacted by the, any terrorist attacks around in, in their borders, in around their borders, any borders of their country. And so, I believe that the Iran and Pakistan they should come together for more cooperation with the government, with the government of the Afghanistan, mm. with the legal government of, the Af uh, of Afghanistan as a, our brothers, as a, our neighboring country. Nobody can ignore their, neighbor, their neighbors. If three countries come together, mm. I believe that they should come over to the problems. But in this cooperation, new groups can comes against another and the sharing the power and the more cooperation and interaction inshallah the future will be more clear and better for the children of the loved of Afghanistan. I would like to ask one question about uh, Mullah Akhtar Mansoor who was killed by an American drone, uh, drone attack and he was reportedly coming from Iran. And while he was in Pakistan's territory in Baluchistan, this drone attack was carried out. Some people think and allege that Mullah Akhtar Mansoor's death uh, came because Iran cooperated with, uh, with America and they provide them, provided them information about uh, the Afghan Taliban leader. Is that true? 
Oh, the day after that, that, that guy killed by drone claimed that the drone by the uh, American drones. Oh, we, we, we became informed, we became informed that this guy is Mullah there, mm -hmm. and he came from Iran borders to Pakistan territory, and the American drone attacked him and killed him. Okay. What is the witnesses? Something that we received, that we issued the visa for somebody under the name of the Wali Muhammad, with the legal passport of the Pakistanians. And so many times we announced that we issued the visa for the one guy under the name of Wali Muhammad with the the legal passport of the Pakistanian. And American or some other sources they claim that this guy is, is uh, Mullah there, maybe. After the, the attack, uh, drone attack to their car, to their car, and everything is destroyed, but their passport was completely safe. Intact. And, so, and they said it is the passport of the, uh, this guy. Okay, who can, who can say that this burned body of that American claim that he is the Mullah Akhtar, Akhtar. who can say that this is the Wali Muhammad? And who can claim and approve that the Wali Muhammad is the Mullah Akhtar? And nobody can <laughs> say that these bodies and the name is belongs to each other. But something that we accepted, that if there is any problem for the issuing of the visa, it's not our fault, because we received the legal passport under the name of Wali Muhammad. Next to 100,000, we issued visa per year. It, it was one of them. One of them. It's one of them. Many times you can find a lot of people that they come back and you said that it is the another guys of the terrorists. <laughs> uh, Master, uh, just concluding remarks. Uh, did the uh, did the government of Pakistan take up this issue with Iran officially? Uh, you know, fortunately, they have very good uh, connection after the accident. After the accident, uh, Alhamdulillah, the both sides talked about the matter. And right now, there is no ambiguity regarding that. If there is something, it is under the negotiation between two intelligence services. It's not my knowledge, really, because it is not a political effort. Yes. Ambassador, thank you very much. Uh, thank Nazi, you to you. Nazi, you have this program in this Pakistan, the Islamic Jamhuriya Iran, the Safir, General Mehdi Nardus, who has Pakistan Iran Talukat the Kulkar Bat Kia. اور پاکستان اور ایران کے درمیان تجارت کو فروغ دینے کے حوالے سے گوادر اور چاہ بار کے جو دونوں بندرگاہ ہیں ان کے بارے میں انہوں نے اپنا پوائنٹ اپیو دیا ہے اسی کے ساتھ یہ پروگرام ختم ہوتا ہے جعوے صدیق کو اجازت دیجئے خدا حافظ بیسر تینکیو بری مچ تینکیو بری مچ تینکیو بری مچ